welcome to Love Anything Art. So glad you are here today for this fun little project. I will begin with this sheet of clay. It's a beige color. And this is it right here. I'm going to use a heart that I cut out of paper. If you have a favorite stencil or cutter that you want to use to cut out the shape, just go ahead and use that. You will need two of them. I'm just going to use my tissue blade here and make sure I have enough for two, and I do. Go ahead and cut that in half. You can do this later too if you don't want to cut it in half now. I have some pretty stencils that I wanted to use. This really kind of flowery, paisley looking pattern on it. It's kind of fun. You'll just need to roll that onto your clay. Being sure to roll hard enough to where the clay comes up and over the sides of all the stencil. You can feel this also when you run your fingers across it. You want plenty of clay to be up through the top so that when you put on your second stencil, it has something to grab onto. I just randomly chose two stencils that I thought looked good together. If you have a couple stencils, just kind of play with it. Decide which one you want on the bottom and which one you want on the top because that actually does affect the way your pattern is going to come out. So kind of just play with it if you have a couple of stencils. Mix and match. You'll just roll that second one right on top. You will need to press quite firmly to kind of get the clay to come up and around through that stencil also. And then peel them off layer by layer. And you might have a little pieces that stick up. You can just run your hand or pat your hand on top of it and that'll press it back down. Just make sure everything's nice and flat there. Kind of had to recut mine. And then just remove that from your work surface. And again, this is the heart stencil that I had cut out. I'm just going to place that on my clay and then use an X-Acto knife and cut out that shape. I really like making paper ones because I can kind of control the shape that I want to cut out and I can kind of alter it and make it fit my own personality and what I like best. But feel free to use cutters. I know some people don't like cutting out the outline because it may not be perfect, but I kind of like the little imperfections of the clay. And then cut out your second one too. And with your two halves, you'll just need to kind of place them together. And this was probably the most difficult part for me because my hands do get a little shaky sometimes. So putting them together and trying to get them to line up perfectly and evenly was a little bit of a challenge for me. And while I am doing that, I do want to welcome everybody to the Love Anything Art channel. I appreciate you being here. And if you are a subscriber that's been here for a while, I appreciate your support. And if you are new and this is your first video, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to see this channel grow and reach more people. I have lots of fun ideas, I think anyway. And I have over 200 videos. I think I'm approaching 220 now. Don't quote me, but some are close to there. So, and I'm still going. I just love making random weird things. Some of my patterns and creations are a bit out there for people, but it's kind of the process and I just like creating and making things. So I hope you enjoy this video and my other ones. Thank you so much. Wow.
once you have it lined up as best as possible, you can just use a side of a tool or a wooden stick or whatever you got and kind of flatten or get rid of that crease. You can also use the side of a tissue blade. If the crease does not bother you, you can totally skip this. I just kind of wanted the sides to be a little perfect because it would kind of show through on this piece more so than some of the other pieces. I also made this little ball tool using a toothpick and some clay that I hardened in the oven and made my own little ball tools. I'm going to use this loaf pan to bake my piece because I do want it to be a little bit curved. You can either do it on the outside of a baking dish or if it's a dish that you never really use, which I've never used this, you can do it on the inside. But ultimately, I have decided to put mine on the outside. That's how I like the bin to look. Go ahead and bake your piece. And this is my piece, all nice and baked, straight out of the oven. Let it cool for a little bit, and I'm ready to go on. I have a piece of scratch paper that I have used multiple times. You can place a piece of tissue or whatever you want underneath your piece. And I'm going to be using some of these alcohol inks. Just kind of look through there and decide what colors you want to use or which colors you think look best together. I have chosen ocean, cherry, grape, and limon. There is no rhyme or reason to this, really. I just kind of took a small little paintbrush, put a little bit of ink on the end, got rid of the excess by putting it on the paper, and then I'm just going to brush it over the clay. You can drop the ink directly on the clay. That does not give you as much control, though, and you might end up more of a kind of a mess, <laughs> but you can do it however you want to. I want to have my colors fairly separated. The edges will kind of blend and bleed together, which is cool. I like that. You can get different colors that way, but I do kind of want little patches of the purple and the red and the blue. And this is mine. It's still a little bit wet. You might want to wait for it to dry and then you can put a second coat of everything on there if you want to or if you like the way it looks just like this you don't have to put a second coat on there you could do one pattern on the front and maybe another pattern on the back whatever you want to do or do them both the same this is kind of a necklace that you could probably wear front ways or back ways And I did let mine dry. I've done the front and the back. And I decided to go ahead and put a second coat on mine, although it looks really pretty the way it is. <laughs> but I just decided to continue on. I let that dry and then used some really fine sandpaper. I also need to do the side still. But um, the front and the back, I'm going to just lightly sand any of the raised areas and this will get rid of the ink from there and then leave the ink in all of the cracks and crevices. This was totally optional. If you love the way it looks before doing that, then don't do it. <laughs> but I just love playing, so I just wanted to continue. And then I will be putting on a coat of resin on the front, back, and sides. This will help seal in the inks. I also painted the sides there too. And I just put a little veil on there and a necklace cord and that is what I did. It came out really pretty and vibrant, I think. 
And you could do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Just use different patterns and your creation would probably look different every time. And I also made another piece, very similar to this one, but I used a pearl white clay in the back instead of the beige. And then I used just a bronze ink on the top instead of the multiple colors. And then of course did the little shaving on the top and put resin on it, a bale, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.